Hi, this is Brian Grayson with Cisco Data Center Solution Marketing, and today we're going to talk about virtualization. The challenge with virtualization, though, is it's kind of hard sometimes to conceptualize or visualize what a virtual machine looks like. So instead of talking about VMs, we're going to talk about M&Ms. Now, let's walk through a day in the life or a week in the life of somebody, enterprise architect, IT organization, trying to deal with virtualization. First, you've got all your servers laid out all over the data center. First thing you do, consolidate them. Get them all into your servers. Problem is, this is awesome, except typically you may not have bought a server that was big enough. So, let's get you an industrial strength proper server. Something like Cisco UCS. Now, your life is going great. You're virtualizing, things are going well, and your teams that need servers are saying this is awesome. Now, it was easy when you only had a few virtual machines, right? You were buying out of a bag like this. The problem is, when they start buying out of a bag like this, consumption rates go through the roof. Mmm, M&Ms. Now, so what do you do? Now you've got VM sprawl. The challenge with this is not that this is a bad thing. If you're still consolidating. Maybe you had to shift the workload to a few other servers. Maybe you had to put them on some special red servers. Whatever you had to do, Cisco UCS can help you handle that. The challenge then becomes, what do you do for visibility? Because when you only had a couple of M&Ms, they were easy to see. I had a red one and a couple of green ones and a yellow one. That was easy. But when I've got lots of VMs and lots of traffic that's going on, I have no visibility into what's happening in here, right? So, challenge number one. What do I do when I virtualize and all those virtual machines and their traffic and their compliance level and their security is all consolidated? Well, step number one. Put them into something that's more transparent. This is where Cisco Nexus 1000V comes in. Now I'm transparent. Now I can see all that traffic going on. I can see what's happening in here. I can see that there's a couple of brown ones and some red ones and some blue ones and some yellow ones and some orange ones. Oh, and by the way, that's great for my network team, but it's also great for my security team. Because when you layer on the Cisco Virtual Security Gateway, or VSG, which interacts with the Cisco 1000V soft switch, uh, distributed virtual switch, now I have not only network level visibility, but I've got security level visibility that I can apply policies and network services and layer four through seven services too. So I move from opaque to transparency, step number one. This is great. Now, the next thing that happens is people start saying, what if I want to move my VMs? I want to move them from this bowl to that bowl, and I want to move them from this bowl to that bowl. Let's pretend this bowl is a data center, and this bowl is a data center. Or this bowl's a rack, and this bowl's a rack. Sure, I can move them, sure, I can move them. But the cool thing nowadays is I should flatten out my network. Let's use flat networks. Let's see how that works. I'll put a few VMs on this flat network. I'll put a few VMs on this flat network. Now, everything's going to be awesome, right? Because when it's flat, it's simple, it must be great. Now, let's try trying to move these on a flat network. Yeah, I worked okay at small scale, but let's try it at large scale. Now I've got lots and lots of VMs that I want to move, and I want to do them at scale. Let's try and do this fast. Uh, hmm, maybe that's not exactly the right way to do it. Well, I can contort my network, my layer two flat networks to, to work better. Uh, that makes life sort of complicated too. Let's get back to something more structured. This is where things like Cisco Fabric Path, Cisco OTV, and Lisp are going to start to let me do consolidation and movement in a much more structured way. This is a data center. This is a data center. This is your data center on Fabric Path and OTV. Fast, structured way of moving your virtual machines, or in this case, M&Ms, back and forth. So, what have we learned? M&Ms are good. We've learned that the more M&Ms that I provide my people, the more work they get done, but man, it gets more complicated to manage. So, what do I have to do? Get transparent. Cisco Nexus 1000V, 
Cisco Virtual Security Gateway. And when you start hearing people say, no, flat is the way to go. It's the only way to go. Well, this is what I get with flat. This is what I get with structured flat. And the ability to do layer two and layer three where it makes sense for my network, for my virtual machines. So for those of you out there that love M&Ms, hope you enjoyed this. For those of you out there that are trying to conceptualize what virtualization is going to do to your servers and your network, hope this helps as well. It's a fun demonstration to do. You make a mess. You get to eat with your mistakes. But ultimately, Cisco UCS is going to help you consolidate more M&Ms. It's going to help you move them around in a much more structured way. It's going to give you transparency for your network teams, your server teams, the guys who have to deal with troubleshooting and compliance and all those complicated things. And it's going to let you start to think about your data center differently because you want to consolidate, you want to flatten in areas where you need to flatten, other areas where you need structure and layer three types of connectivity services. So hope this helps. It was fun to make. Hopefully it's fun for you. And you know what? You can do this demonstration for your customers. You can do it as a partner. And you know what? You make a mistake, you make a mistake. Eat your mistakes. Thanks. Have a great day. Good selling.